Okay, I've been asked by one of our members, over at ATP members, how you would add the window glow or the glow from the lights inside a house to a shot like this. Obviously there's no one in the house, um, it's maybe late afternoon in the winter, great shot, nice location, but I think a glow from the lights would obviously really add to the shot, especially if you're doing it for maybe a Christmas card or for stock photography, and you can see the difference it makes here. So you can see if we go back to the original, we've got the, the house without the lights, and then with them on. Now, what we need to do is make sure that it looks fairly realistic. There's ways of doing it, there's various ways of doing it, but this is one way I found works really well because we're using the overlay tool rather than just a straightforward kind of paint tool. So what we need to do first is select all the windows, and for that we take the pen tool and select the paths option at the top here, and then we zoom right into the photo. Now I'm using a low resolution image here so I have to go right in, you can see we lose a bit of quality. So I'm just going to select the areas of the window that I want to add the glow to. And obviously this has got a frame there so I'm going to come across and then up to the top. When you close the loop you'll see a circle appear on the pen. Just click and that will create the selection. And then we're going to do the same with the window down here. Up to there and close it and then the same for all the windows. Um, always make sure that you try and stay away from the edges of the the frame or the brickwork in the house. Obviously we want to keep it realistic so we want to keep all the detail from the window that's there. Now I'm not being particularly careful with this at the moment because like I said it's a fairly low resolution image and this is just quickly to show you what it looks like for the purposes of the tutorial. So what I'm going to do is quickly select all of the windows in exactly the same way and then come back and show you what we need to do next. So you can see there we've got all of the windows selected, they're all closed so we've got the straight lines all the way around all the windows. Now one tip is if you go slightly over the frame with this and then adjust the feathering you should get the glow to kind of appear on the window frames as well. So what we need to do now is create a selection around this so if we right click on the photo using the, the pen tool and then click make selection and then you need to select a feather radius. Now because this is such a small or low resolution image I'm only going to use a feather radius of 1. If you're using a large resolution image from say a 16 or a 21 megapixel camera then I would suggest something like 10, 20 or 30 pixels for the, for the, um, the feathering. Click OK and that will give you the running ants around all of the windows. Okay so what we do now is we select our colour that we want. So I've already got a pre-selected colour here and you can see the RGB values and the, um, the hash value there. So you can actually um, choose the same if you wanted to. This is kind of a, a kind of lowish kind of glow yellow that I kind of liked. So if I click OK I've got that selected. Now I go to the pen tool, uh, sorry the, um, yeah, the brush tool and what you need to do here is rather than select normal which is the default you need to select overlay. I'll show you what happens. If we select the normal and if we have the opacity up and the flow up, as you go over you just end up with a, a really kind of not very realistic looking glow. So if we go back now and we're going to put this opacity down to around 30% and the flow to the same, about 30% because we want to layer it up, we don't want to just smudge light straight in there. And then rather than the normal mode we go to overlay. What that will do is keep all of the original detail behind the windows in. So if we start going over there, we left click with the mouse and go over it, and then again, so you build up the layer slowly. You may have to do it six, seven, eight, nine times until you get the kind of look you want. So let's just keep going over there to get this glow. And you can see it's keeping all the detail behind. So to about there. If we zoom out and have a look, that looks pretty good. If I do the rest of the windows, again, I'd rather build up slowly with the layers because each window could be different. This is further around the back of the house so it may not be quite as bright. So we'll just do that one to there and then obviously we'll do the others. So I'll just quickly finish those off and then come back to you in a sec. So there we are, all the windows are done now. What we need to do is select the marquee tool and then click anywhere in the image to get rid of the running ants and zoom out and there you have it. If we look at that at the right size, 
you can see that the uh, the glows really added a nice effect to the shot now if when you zoom out you want to maybe increase that a bit obviously you can do this via a, a layer I haven't used a layer at this in this case I've just done it over the original but obviously if you wanted to adjust this you create a layer and then adjust the opacity and the intensity of what you've already done but if like me you've just done it this way and you've just done it straight onto the original obviously keep a, a copy as well then you can do Control Alt Z and go back bring the running ants back reselect the pen and just go over one or two more times just to add a touch more glow obviously it's personal preference if we just click over those and then get rid of the running ants and zoom out you can see now we've got a really good looking shot we've kept all the detail in the window so it looks like there's curtains closed in there we've got the nice glow from the house and it really adds a kind of punch to the shot just as a final touch if you think about how light works some of this light is going to spill onto this white snow so if we select the uh, the the brush tool again and bring the opacity down even further to about 15 so it's about half to what we were using then what we're going to do is just think about where the light's been splaying onto here so maybe this light will hit this bit of snow here and we can just add a touch of yellow there and then also the light's going to hit the path out here so maybe we can just put a touch of the glow from the light onto the the, the lawn or the the snow outside the house like that just to give the impression that obviously the light is real and it's coming from there and then just come out and that's that so that's basically how you add a window glow to a dark house <laughs>